what's good josh your boy ross back here again with another video so i'm gonna check out wwe is firing everybody i know some more people were released uh i want to say it was uh last night yesterday and i'm just like yo what is going on right now it this all can't be budget cuts i believe they released john morrison I, i'm i don't know what's going on Polana productions just dropped a video so i wanted to check out his video talking about it also discuss it a little bit uh, some of the names i really didn't know who they were so i'm sure you guys can let me know you know who they were and you know and if you you know were kind of shocked and disappointed by you know their release man because wwe they they just getting rid of anybody they feel like getting rid of for budget cut reasons or whatever the reason may be so we're gonna take this video out appreciate all the love and support on the channel road to 70k and uh let's see what uh Polana productions has to say about everybody just being kicked to the curb by wwe unfortunately the wwe made some more releases last night due to budget cuts a total of eight superstars were fired, which includes John Morrison, mm -hmm. the entire faction of Hit Row, Jeez. Drake Maverick for the second time, Damn. Jackson Riker, Shane Thorne, and Tegan Knox. Damn. I want to spend some time talking about each release individually, and then I want to talk about the real issue with these massive releases every month or so. The first person we need to talk about is John Morrison. He is the biggest wrestler that was released a mm -hmm. part of this bunch. I can finally say that the WWE has done it. They have ruined John Morrison from the minute that he made his return. Releasing John Morrison after doing absolutely nothing with him for the last two years is one of the biggest wastes of talent that they have ever had. Mm -hmm. WWE really that. messed up here. John Morrison had the potential to become a main event player in the company. I could have even seen him becoming the WWE or the Universal Champion. Instead though, they ruined him. And I don't want to really get into it too much because that is for a video for tomorrow because I am making the moment that the WWE ruined John Morrison. But the thing about John Morrison coming back, they they didn't really take him seriously. They didn't. I mean, his gimmick became Johnny Drip Drip. He was running around with the Miz. It they just didn't take him seriously. They comedy act at best. Decent in the ring, but they didn't look at him as anything above mid card comedy they didn't and it sucks because he's a very talented wrestler um it's just it's like when you come back to the wwe after your first run you're expecting different things you're expecting to be pushed in a different way and they still don't take you seriously so that that's really unfortunate um i wasn't surprised when i found out john morrison was one of the people let go i just wasn't surprised it's just like now it, it sucks, but it's like, damn. I mean, they weren't really utilizing him in a way where it's like, let's keep him. But that's not even on his fault. That's on the WWE creative, man. They, they're not creative. Let's, let's leave it at that. But all I can say right now is that this was a huge mistake. I don't think the WWE <sighs> understands that they are literally releasing and letting go of some of their best wrestlers on their roster. They are. This man literally went from wrestling Bad Bunny, which was a big prominent match at WrestleMania, to being fired in the same year. It literally makes no sense. The next release we need to talk about is Hit Row. Although I didn't really click with the group, they could have grown onto me. I honestly don't know because I really didn't watch NXT when they were there, and yeah. it's totally possible that they were just better off in the developmental brand. It wouldn't be the first time that we saw someone who thrived in NXT and were ruined on the main roster. Mm -hmm. Anyways, this is another strange release because the WWE actually just drafted them a month ago on SmackDown and made it seem like a big deal. It looked as if they were going to be a big part of the SmackDown brand for the next year, especially since the roster is very thin, but that isn't the case. They were all let go and it's just unbelievable because they just got onto the main roster a mm -hmm. month ago. Drake Maverick is the next name that we should discuss. WWE initially fired him last year in April of 2020. However, he made a heartfelt video on Twitter that managed to help him get his job back. Triple H decided to incorporate it into a storyline where he would fight for a contract in NXT. It was a pretty cool idea, even though it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Mm -hmm. Anyways, he hasn't really done anything too much since that storyline. 
I was not surprised that the WWE released him because of that reason. It makes sense when they let go of people who they really don't use, and that yeah. same thing applies to Shane Thorne. When Retribution ended, the WWE barely used Shane Thorne. So Retribution, ah, uh, yeah, it could have been good. It should have been good. It it didn't really land. It's just like, ah, oh, man. I don't know what what's the point of having creative writers when the stuff they come up with is not either that creative or they give up on it. They don't really take it seriously, and they're the ones that create the idea. I don't know, man. I don't know. I and I don't want to say, oh, we'll go over to AEW because I. It's one of those things where it's like it's not guaranteed that you know you'll be seen as much on AEW as well because they have a lot of stuff going on as well. So it's like, it's like, yo, I, I don't know. This this is just a, it's a sad situation for these, these wrestlers, man. Cause you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're hoping at some point to get their, their time to shine and they don't ultimately get it. A lot of them, or if they do, it's, it's fleeting. And then after that, they're back to, the catering table as uh jd says if y'all know who jd is then y'all know who he is but yeah the catering table that's what he says and a lot of people these uh wrestlers definitely be at the catering table all the time so i wasn't really shocked when i saw his name on the list but it still does suck that he lost his job but he wasn't a good fit for the wwe i think he can find some work and impact down the line WWE also finally released Jackson Riker. Many fans online have been waiting for this day because of his comments in 2020. Yes, that was not a good look for him, and it put a halt to his run in WWE. What did he say? I'm not sure. Comment down below. Let me know what he said. It sadly affected the Forgotten Sons, and the WWE did keep Jackson Riker for whatever reason for a while. I guess it's because Vince McMahon liked his build. He was pretty jacked. I personally thought that he was going to be released in the beginning of this year. However, they were persistent with him, and they even repackaged him and tried giving him a babyface run. That was never going to work out. But hey, I appreciate the WWE for trying it. It was pretty funny watching it go down. The last person to be released from this list is Tegan Knox. This is such a disappointment. Mm. I thought she had so much potential. Knox was one of my favorites in NXT. She is so gifted in that ring, and she even loves Kane. If you are a Kane fan, I gotta respect you. <laughs> I thought that she was going to be a big star in the women's division for the future, but then the WWE released her, and that just made no sense to me whatsoever, because like I said, they missed out on a star. Obviously, I don't like the fact that these wrestlers were released because it does suck for them. Yeah. But there is a bigger problem. The WWE is literally out here firing everybody. And what's even worse is that they are firing people that are on TV involved in storylines. Yeah, it's not like they're just firing a whole bunch of, you know, people that are not really on television. No, they're letting go of some prominent individuals that we wanted to see at a higher spot in the card. This year alone, it's been crazy for releases, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. I don't think there's ever been a time in WWE history where we've seen so many talented wrestlers just get dropped. It's crazy, man. So I, it's just that excuse of budget cuts. The, that's cap, man. I'm sorry. If anyone believes it's truly budget cuts, no, it's not. They have they have money. Best believe they have money. It's just you know they just don't feel like this person is worth the money anymore. Like oh well, we're not doing nothing with them, so we might as well let them go. Saves us money, man. Put that money towards somebody else or something else, or uh, um maybe they should put that money towards better writers. If you're gonna fire somebody, get some good writers. Who know about wrestling. Who care about wrestling. Maybe do that. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Hit Row was featured in a segment last week with Sami Zayn. That was definitely going to be part of some sort of feud in the future. Even Aleister Black was fired when he made his return to screw over Big E in that Fatal 4-Way match on mm -hmm. SmackDown, and then he was fired the next day. The WWE used to release superstars that weren't featured on TV, and many of the old releases were just people that were in catering. It is different now. It's a different story. Nobody is safe. 
This is also ruining the viewing experience. How can anybody who watches Raw or SmackDown ever connect with any of these new rookies when there's a chance that they could just get fired Facts. the next day? I I've think this, this is a huge before. problem that is going to have a trickle down effect and we will see a lot of other problems arise because of it and it might be the downfall of the WWE or at least for people ever wanted to work for WWE. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't have said it any better myself, man. He, he is spot on with that. Um, what's the point in getting invested in someone when ultimately you there's a good chance you may fire them especially if they're new and they don't instantly get the results you want it's like people try to sit up here and defend wwe oh it's a company it's all about business it's not personal you know they got to think about the bottom line well the bottom line is at the end of the day these guys come up from nxt and you don't really give them a solid chance like you say you do or if it doesn't fit the mold you want them to be and how you want their character to be, you just, and it doesn't work because a lot of the stuff y'all come up with, a lot of stuff WWE creative come up with is hot garbage anyway. And then the fans don't like it. So the rest of it gets screwed up. Oh, well, we got to get rid of you because you, you're not it right now. They're probably not it. They're probably not getting over with the crowd because of the stuff you having them say, the stuff you having them do. It's, it's it's trash it's doo-doo so i don't know man it just sucks for all these wrestlers you know what I'm saying who put their their the bodies on the line to put the time in nxt to try to get over the to the code told the company line to grab that brass ring ultimately to be thrown to the wolves in the end so comment down below let me know are you guys shocked about the recent releases uh, or are you guys just kind of indifferent at this point? And you're just like, oh, it's just another day <laughs> in WWE. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't even phase you anymore because at this point, so many people have been let go. It's just like, it's a matter of who's going to get let go next, man. For me, it didn't really shock me. I was just like, damn, that's that sucks. That's crazy. The Keith Lee and, and the Karen Cross situation, yeah, that shocked me. This now I'm just like uh, I'm 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 becoming numb to it. I wouldn't be surprised at some point they re-release Samoa Joe again. I I would not be surprised. Comment down below. Let me know. I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.